Today I'm going to make a raw chocolate hazelnut cake. Um, first I'll start off making the base. So we've got a cup of macadamias here. Pop that in the food processor. A cup of hazelnuts. And um, a little bit of salt. Probably maybe half a, half a teaspoon. And um, dates to bind. So turn on the food processor first and then add the dates until it's bound until it's bound well. Okay, I'll just check that. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Now I've already greased this um, cake tin with coconut oil. So I've put the base in there. Okay, and just sort of press it on up on the sides a bit and down the bottom. All right, so um, I usually put this in the freezer while I make the rest of the um, mixture to pour in into the base. So I'll go and pop that in the freezer now and then make make the rest. So now we're going to make the filling for the raw chocolate hazelnut cake. First of all, get three quarters of a cup of hazelnuts and pop them in the blender and one and a half cups of water. I'm just going to make a hazelnut milk and um, you blend that up for about one to two minutes and then let it steep for five to ten minutes. So the hazelnut milk has just steeped for about 10 minutes and I'm just going to strain it through a nut milk bag. These are so handy, nut milk bags, they're really good. With the leftover hazelnut milk we could make something else with that, like some Nice hazelnut, maybe raw hazelnut cookies would be really nice. Um, or you can use it for a base for some little tartlets or cakes or something like that. Now I've strained the nut milk and I'm going to blend it first with some Irish moss, which is this. This has been soaked for about three hours or a bit longer. Before it's soaked, it looks like this, which is <laughs> it looks rather disgusting, really. It's got all sand on it and everything, but it needs to be rinsed really thoroughly and then soaked. So I'll pop that in there. It's a really good thickening agent, and a lot of people use it um, for raw cakes, and it gives it a really good thickness. Uh, you can also use agar agar, which is probably a lot easier to get, and um, it will work just as well. So I'll just pour in about a cup or so of the hazelnut milk and blend up the Irish moss in the blender until uh, it goes sort of thick and creamy. Okay, then we had the rest of the hazelnut milk. Smells delicious. And a third of a cup of cacao powder. Um, about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Uh, some vanilla essence. It's about a teaspoon teaspoon and a half of vanilla essence, agave nectar, quarter of a cup, and a quarter of a cup of finely packed dates, finely chopped, I mean finely chopped dates. <laughs> and just blend that up. Wow. 
What's good about agave nectar? It's a natural sweetener. It's good to use as a replacement for sort of refined sugar or... So it's a bit of a controversial product, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of people think that it's um, highly processed and um, yeah, but we, I like to use um, the dark agave, which is less processed than the light agave. So I guess it's a better option between the two. So once that's all blended, last of all, we add a quarter of a cup, just over a quarter of a cup of coconut oil. Um, about a tablespoon and a half of soy lecithin granules. We just blend that up until it's incorporated. Alright, so that's all done. And now we just need to pour it into the base. You can even straighten up the edges with your fingers if you like. And then we'll pop it in the fridge for a couple of hours until set and then eat it. Yum.